we thought it'd be fun to give the people a little OU Athletics Mount Rushmore. And uh, the four people, four, Matthew Gann, four people <laughs> on Mount Rushmore, not three. He wasn't going to say it, but I'm not going to let him get away with it. He definitely thought there was three. And uh, you picked four guys, four men or women, who you think belong on the OU Athletics Mount Rushmore. And uh, I'll go through my list, and then we'll let everybody else go through theirs. I had Jocelyn Allo. I have Wayman Tisdale, the men's basketball player, uh, Bosworth, football player, and Lauren Chamberlain as softball. Two men, two women. That's that's uh, that's that's who I had. Anybody? Uh, let's go, Ryan. Ryan next. Yeah, sure. So um, Billy Sims, uh, Heisman winner, football. Buddy Heald, um, men's basketball. Chamberlain also. So Lauren Chamberlain in softball, and Sam Bradford also a Heisman winner in football. I'll take it up now. This is Mark. <laughs> go ahead, Mark. Courtney Paris. Yeah, go ahead, basketball. Mark. Hey, Matt, don't interrupt <laughs> me. Courtney Paris, women's basketball. Coach Barry Switzer. Coach Patty Gasso. And a little man by the name of, you might have heard of him, Adrian Peterson. Patrick. I've got my man Baker Mayfield, Allo, Trey Young, basketball, and then non athlete for OU, but I had to put him in here. And I think he's a good ad, out of the box ad, Joe Castiglione. It's a great pick. Pat. That was a great pick. I a great really pick. love it. Yeah. Gan? Yeah. I mean, save the best for last, right? <laughs> uh, the one with the most original <laughs> picks and ideas. Uh, I had to go. I, I have to agree with two of them with Mark, even though he stole my ideas. And we'll get to this here in a second. Uh, Fatty G. I mean, she's got five natties going for six this year. I've talked about in the softball segment. Uh, Coach Barry Switzer, three natties. Hard not to pick them. Great record. Uh, and then I went basketball. I chose Blake Griffin, my boy. And then I went off a little bit off the beaten path here because I really wanted to choose somebody from a different sport that maybe – not a lot of people know about a different wagon, a different wagon. And I picked uh, Mr. Dave Schultz, who did great wrestling, pick. wrestling at OU. He's, yeah, he's a three time All American, won the 1982 Natty, and he has seven, or he's a seven time world and Olympic gold medalist. So, also wow. the subject of the 2014 movie Foxcatcher. So, Get out of here. Yeah. Get no out of here. Hold on. <laughs> wow. Type I away, Mark. This <laughs> yeah. And really enjoyed this documentary. Ryan. No documentary. This is the movie bus. Watch of the week. <laughs> yeah. Go watch Foxcatcher, everyone. No it's way. An Oklahoma guy. I will. So reading everybody else's, I these are I'll pick my guy that I like most from each of you guys. So for Ryan's, I love the Buddy Heald pick. I th- I don't think Buddy Heald gets enough credit. Obviously, Blake Blake Griffin is probably the biggest name in OU men basketball history. But Buddy Heald, man, it might be a recency bias, but being at OU watching him, I will always remember that Kansas game they lost and how he played in Lawrence. He's just and, a, he was amazing. Uh, yeah, and it brought them back from a fourteen year drought going to the Final Four. Yeah, just just amazing. So, he he deserved a national era. Yeah, mm-hmm. Pat, I'm a I'm a big, big fan of your Castiglione pick. Out of the box, he deserves it. That, that was that was a great pick. Uh, I was I was a little Love too it. had my blinders on, couldn't really couldn't really do that. Uh, Matt, I, uh, you know what, Dave Schultz, <laughs> I like it. I like the pick. Well, it's hard when you know two of my picks are you know been taken by Mark as well. So I get it. It's you know. You literally, oh, again, you literally have a different one here in the outline right here. Like, there's another name right there. <clears throat> uh, you think you're looking at the wrong one. <laughs> <way. laughs> uh, Marks, I really like Courtney Paris. Um, I great pick. She, she was, she was big time. People forget she was, she was big time for that. That's for that actually, team. that's actually part of why I wanted to pick her. She had a little light on something that we might forget. I want to hear it. So, Courtney Paris is 
perhaps the greatest women's basketball player of all time. It's not my place to make that claim. I'm not well-versed enough to make it, but here's some things that I do know. She's the only player in NCAA history, male or female, to have 700 points, 500 boards, and 100 blocks in a season. Guess when she did that? Her freshman year. Nuts. No, oh, wait, I'm sorry. That's the next stat. I messed this up. But she did set the NCAA <laughs> record for rebounds in a season as a freshman. There you That's go. even cooler than the other thing. Bang. We're set back the on all-time it. NCAA Division I record for rebounds. That's in women's basketball. And in the 2009 NCAA tournament, became the first player in U.S. college basketball history, regardless of sex or division, to record 2,500 points and 2,000 rebounds. She became the first ever sophomore to win the AP Player of the Year in women's basketball and the first ever four-time first-team All-American in women's basketball history. We don't often think of it because so much of our attention is on OU football, and rightfully so, but our women's sports are dominant, and Courtney Pear has blazed a uniquely extraordinary trail, and it's something that I think we forget about, but especially with OU women's basketball playing so well currently, it's something we shouldn't. She is a great figure in OU basketball history and should be taken as such. That's right. Want to give a shout out to her sister, Ashley oh, Paris. That's right. At the same time, Paris sisters. They were they were great. They were wonderful. They were, Ryan, well, I know you was, had some. I know you had some notes. If you wanted to get yours, no, out. that's that's okay. Um, no, 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 we're good. I I'm just glad you let me talk about Buddy there for a second. That's right, Pat. So I want to give an honorable mention here from someone who graduated from the University of Oklahoma, but I don't think ever played a sport, and that okay. was Mickey Mantle. Ooh. Really? Okay. really? Okay. I mean, according to Wikipedia, he went to the University of Oklahoma. <laughs> I don't know. Great <laughs> source. <laughs> Great source, Patrick. Okay. Okay. I was thinking about it. I was like, wait, did Mickey Mantle go to OU? And it says he does. It says like he was going to play football, but he got shin injury. Um, but I, I think we had to point that out. And also, I forgot about Blake Griffin. Otherwise, I wouldn't have put Trey Young, but that's on me. Trey Young's a good pick, though. Yeah. It's, it's not a bad. It's, it's a little recency, but like he it's a good pick. Also, yeah. I I need the listeners to know this because this is a very funny thing that Patrick does that's like one of my favorite things that Patrick does. Patrick is very susceptible to like fake news online and mm-hmm. it's the yep. greatest thing ever. He sent us <laughs> something in our group text the other day yesterday about Aaron Rodgers retiring and it looked like a bleacher report oh, well, like bleacher. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it bleacher, was a bleacher. Report. It was a bleacher report. It said, "It said Aaron Aaron Rodgers retires." Patrick sent it to us full well, <laughs> all in, and it was bleacher report with like three R's. Three R's. And uh, <laughs> it was, it's just it's it, that's not the first time, and it won't be the last. It's we just my, you, it's one of my favorite things that Pat does. Just like that, read Wikipedia, Mickey. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Mickey Mantle, so you well, guys. okay, so there is a Mickey Mantle steakhouse in downtown Oklahoma City. Yeah, but so. that doesn't mean he went to yeah, He's from Oklahoma. He has hey, a culinary know. arts degree <laughs> from the University of Oklahoma. <laughs> Makes a mean steak down there. You know, what, you know what we should do, though? We should, Tell- pull up, we should put up a poll at who agrees as the best OU Mount Rushmore out of us five. Okay, hey, if we're we doing that, I still have a case to make for Barry Switzer, too. So, that, like, I okay. have stats too. Are you just going to go all through all stats, yours? Maybe. Well, here's my <laughs> thing. You can trace everything about OU football right now back to Switzer. Our defiance, because even though we're from Norman, Oklahoma, we invented winning and we'll kick your ass in Norman, Oklahoma. That's Barry Switzer. Yeah. That's why he deserves the spot. That's no stats. I won't drop any like stats on you, Ryan. I'm sorry that enlightening <laughs> you with a trailblazer in women's college basketball history is not what you wanted from me today. Bro, you weren't, a, you weren't watching those games. You weren't a OU fan back then. I've educated myself since then. I've done <laughs> That's what right. I can. That's right. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? All right. Anybody, anybody else have uh, – also, Pat, I, I'm not crazy about your Baker Mayfield pick. Just because I'm I'm the biggest Baker Mayfield fan you'll ever find, but on Mount Rushmore, don't know if he belongs there. I just think that from 2013 on, and what we will be talking about Baker, like people talk about our great past quarterbacks who are 80 years old. We'll be talking about Baker before Kyler, in my opinion, um, and sure. that's why I have him on Mount Rushmore. 
Rush, Mount Rushmore. So also, honest, go ahead, Matt. Well, I was going to say, the only thing I, I do disagree with is actually your picks, Mason. I feel like you, really? can't, have two, you can't have two softball players yes, on I Mount can. Rushmore. I just yes, I can. Well, I would, I would agree <laughs> that Allo isn't there yet because Lauren or Chamberlain's got a, two natties, I believe. I One. Maybe. She, I think she has two. I'm pretty sure. All the, all 2013, that's all. Hmm. I need to fact check that. I can't believe you, Ryan. I'll go back. But I just feel like you can't have two softball players up there. I can. You want to know why? Time. You want to know One's why? One's got to be better than the other. So. You know why? Because Lauren Chamberlain, Chamberlain set the standard, broke the NCAA record, brought Jocelyn Allo to Oklahoma. Yeah. I guarantee you Jocelyn Allo saw what Lauren Chamberlain did and was like, I need to go to OU and play for Patty Gasso. And that's why Jocelyn Allo is on there as well because she's about to pass – Lauren Chamberlain I'm, I'm on the a, record I'm, books. I'm going to agree with Mason here. I'm going to I'm going to back him up on the Chamberlain pick because OU softball has won their championships. Um, they had one in 2000, and then all their others came post 2013. Who was on that 2013 team? Lauren Chamberlain, who started and, this and like, like ten other players. You act like no. Lauren Chamberlain is the only. <laughs> Play but she's the team. most well known. She played nine positions, Matt. <laughs> yeah, Matt. <laughs> Apparently. Listen, at OU Softball. She started this. She at started OU this. Softball, any any good things that Matt said about you are now <laughs> Nolan Boyd because he thinks Lauren Chamberlain is trash. That's what he said. Put it on a quote card, Trevor. Okay. That's what that's what Matt thinks. Not at all. 